Waters. Hi, here we are in beautiful downtown Osmere, and this this palace is the Borma Institute. We've been working for two days, and we have had one day of the Gorge tour. Um, and this is all about a group of twelve international florists coming, giving of their time and expertise free of charge. Now, I assume that you've all been on to www.floralfundamentals.com to already subscribe for the free digital magazine. But here's a little preview of some of the things that are coming up in the next issue. So if we go over here, for example, this is a little understated design, darlings. Don't you love this? This is um, made by um, Emily, our latest recruit from France, Hans. Ooh la la. And she has focused on using these amazing phalaenopsis and of course the remarkable avalanche roses by um, Maya Roses. Oh, and we've got some wonderful hydrangea. Um, these are courtesy of Peter Koch. But we've got two different impressions of using what obviously would be a classical move of, of the avalanche roses and these beautiful phalaenopsis from our lovely guy called Walter, Walter. Um, but round here someone else did another look you might be interested in seeing this has all been hand created and this is by a little up-and-coming designer um, some of you might have heard of this guy he's called Max van der Sloos uh, Max is not here now he's come designed and disappeared because he's got a crossing over of information. Oh, hey, look who's coming to see us. Hey, this is Hi, Jacqueline. Ellison. This Hi. is Jacqueline Borma. Nice to have you all here. Yeah, and thank you for letting us invade the place. Oh, yes, you're yes. welcome. Complete with dog. My pleasure to have you here. Woof. Okay, <laughs> no, no woof today. <laughs> What's it like having all these people here? You've been doing all the cooking. Oh yes, it, is, it has been crazy <laughs> the last couple of days, but it's so interesting and the school really smells like flowers. Oh, it's really it's and it's next gorgeous. week you've got something on next week. Yes, yes, next week we have the Asmir Flower Festival. Okay. So we're open with that, with food, drinks and uh, flowers, of course. And what? music. And music? Yes. Oh, forget the music, go for the Dutch food. <laughs> She's really, really good cook. <laughs> thank well, you. Thank you for having us here. And My pleasure. Great school, we couldn't be in a better place. This is just the best place. So I guess you want to come and see some of the guys. So walk with me. Enjoy. Thank you. Bye, Jacqueline. Guys and girls, say hello to the world! Hello. Hi world, here we are. Okay, so maybe I'll start here. Okay, this is Max, this is baby Max. Yeah. Mr. Max is gone, this is baby, baby Max. Max, introduce yourself. Oh, hello, I'm Max from Belgium, but I'm French. <laughs> um, uh, I'm a master florist. Uh, uh, I work in a shop in Brussels, uh, I work uh, as well in Berlin, as well in uh, Essen for the high PM fair trade in, in England. I'm passionate, passionate in flowers. Yes. I'm a flower lover. That's it. We can tell that. Yeah, that's it. And I really enjoy this time with Alison and all amazing design as well. Good. So talk to us about what you're doing here. So for this arrangement, uh, I have a mind, it's follow the line, so the line is the wall. So I had a brim and I took the wool and I just rolled around to make a kind of heliconia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh. If, if, if you are a bit quick, yeah. we can think it's a heliconia. It's a woolly heliconia. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Mini Max. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Woolly Max. We'll call you Woolly Max now. Great. I okay, love and then you've had, well, how much do you like Gloriosa? Do you I love, love them? Oh, I love Or oh, did you hear that passion come into the voice? Yeah. That was a French moment, wasn't it? Ooh la la. Oh la la. Oh yeah. J'adore le glorieux. J'adore. Mm, j'adore. Oh, j'adore. Wow, je t'adore. Okay. And these <laughs> are? Portanova roses. Okay. Yeah, the super quality. Okay. Yes. Gorgeous. It's totally gorgeous. I used to work every day with this kind of roses. Really, do yeah, you? Yes, in, okay. in Belgium, in Brussels, we work with. In and what do you think about the quality of the flowers that our growers grow? Just amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
really. <laughs> we were lucky to visit uh, growers and nurseries yeah. on Friday, yeah. and it was just wow, impressive, massive. Uh, it's a dream. The dream comes true. Say something in French, just something, one sentence, because we will have French viewers. So. Bonjour, les Pays-Bas. J'espère que vous profitez bien de ce live. On est là pour vous donner du plaisir. Okay, I think he's saying it's sunny outside and he's stuck inside, but that's okay. Let's do that. Thanks very much, man. You're welcome. Okay, and here we go to the other side of the world, don't we, my darling? We do. Who are you? I'm Mark from Australia. You're Mark from Australia. This is Mark Pampling, aka Pampers, from Australia, and <laughs> he is known for doing what? Uh, simple work with minimal materials, not very pretty and usually very structured. That's true. And have I put you through hell here? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but I've loved every minute. So, what do you think about the array of flowers compared to what's available in Australia? Uh, right in front of us, I think we have about uh, 500 times the variety that we usually have on a daily basis at home. <laughs> so, we are like kids in candy shop. Yeah, I could see the sort of glazed look coming over your eyes when you came in here. So what are you doing here? I'm doing something pretty. I'm doing something quite out of the ordinary for me. Yeah. So almost cake-like, uh, yes. using some of the interesting varieties that we've been um, provided with. So these lovely uh, Rosanna Lysianthus from uh, Montana Lysianthus and these beautiful um, Anko Vanda orchids. Yeah. And and I love this Torno uh, Talansia. Yeah, so I started with the... Um, the Lysianthus and then uh, I happened to have these spare orchids on my bench and so uh, I added those in and then I realised that from the vast selection of Tillandsias that we had, those ones worked as well. I love the use of Tillandsia in design. I think it's an, underest an underestimated uh, product that could be really a goer, don't you think? Absolutely. Yeah, I love it. Send me a box every week. Well, that does <laughs> I thought you just wanted Barbara Streisand every week. Barbara and Talent. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to say something in Australia? No. Okay, I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, has it been a good trip? It's been fantastic, thank you. You've enjoyed it? I have indeed. Would you come back? Uh, next week, yeah. Yeah, okay. See you then. <laughs> okay, this way. And here we go for something entirely different. <laughs> and this is from somebody who's probably going to kill me for asking him to do this design. Would you like to introduce yourself, please? Uh, my name is Garrett Skopinski. I come from Missouri in the U.S. Uh, I'm primarily known for being a floral blogger and a freelancer. Uh, I try to work all over the U.S. and try to educate myself. Mm -hmm. I'm quite simple. I'm not too crazy or anything. So. Yeah, that's <laughs> a lie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you're very quiet. Yes. Yeah, and shy. Yeah. Yeah, and you're hardly shy. talk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> deep, deep shyness. Yeah. Has this been a good experience for you? Um, 100%. Oh. Being able to see the other designers on such a wide range of skill and even knowledge, mm -hmm. seeing Mark excited about flowers he, I've seen all the time, or seeing Hanukkah with her beautiful, like, structure work it's it's educational along with just getting to familiar yourself with designs from around the world so mm -hmm. that in itself along with the great product is a lifetime like you won't learn it in a lifetime so and you visited more growers than anyone else here <laughs> I did I did and I saw you interacting with them quite strongly um in the U.S. you don't have a lot of access to growers you don't get much past your wholesaler or very small farms with very limited um, quantities of local flowers. So when I got to go on the Dutch Lily Days, thank you to Allison and Eyeball, um, it opened my eyes to the amount of time and love goes into making a bulb. You can take between 20 years for one bulb and eight years for one another bulb, but that's just to make it. That's not even to grow it, to use. Mm -hmm. That's just to find out what color it's gonna be. Um, and the knowledge that those people have, but also the disconnect that the people have from florists was right. very interesting. A breeder doesn't see what a florist sees. They don't know what a florist really, it sounds mean, but they don't really know what we want because mm -hmm. they talk to the grower and then the grower goes from there. Mm -hmm. And so it was great to be able to sit down for 45 minutes with some of these breeders and say, I don't need a huge lily, I need color, I need, unique speckles through them. I need something 
that sells that a grocery store can't get. Yellow lilies are beautiful. I can get a yellow lily very easily almost anywhere. Mm. Give me a yellow lily that fades to orange. And they would take me straight to it. Okay. And it would be a test or it'd be an accident. Yeah. I love accidents. And that's no. when you get yeah. excited. Yeah, I love a good accident. And per you, I've asked you to do <laughs> a design for a, you called it a bachelorette Bachelorette party. party. Yeah, we call it a hen party, <laughs> but basically it involves pink. And if you'd seen the joy in his face when I asked him <laughs> to do that, no joy at all. But give me his G's game to do it. So staying here for an extra couple of days though, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I get to experience Amsterdam, so. I don't think you can get a bigger contrast on what's happening over here now. <laughs> um, Steph Han. Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Could you say hello to the people back home? Yes, hello people back home. It's good like this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. And this is the trouble I've had all weekend with this lot. They are so naughty. We? Are we? Me? A, no. Are we? A, a two? A two? A two? Okay, so can you say something in French? In French, but my French is not so good. Okay, say something I'm gonna try. Flemish. Bonjour say something tout le monde. Flemish. Say something in Flemish then. Uh, Goedemiddag iedereen, ik ben Stefan. Welkom hier op de uh, Floral Fundamentals. Fundamentals? Ja. Yeah. <laughs> Oké, okay, what are you doing here? A floral dartboard. This is a, a wedding bouquet for a diva from Scotland. Ai! <laughs> yeah, it's gorgeous. So, what have you used, sweetheart? Uh, I used uh, uh, the hydrangea, delphinium, uh, Vanda, yeah. of course. Agaratum. Uh, Agarat. Yeah, yeah. No. What's this? Campanula. Uh, Aconitum. Oh, I could you say this no, again? No, it's not. Um, okay, we haven't a clue what that we is. We have a problem with the well, name. Well, it, 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 <laughs> we've got Hypericum, though. Yes, also. Gorgeous and good. then we have um, the Tillandsia, yeah, and we have uh, Allium, ah. also a little bit. Oh, this is a Tillandsia split down. Yeah. How good. And a bit of Marabou? Yeah, it's no, it's my chicken. chicken. It's your chicken? <laughs> chicken for my garden. Okay, I did get worried when I saw a lot of feathers on the floor, but he's been plucking his chicken today. Yeah. You've been, pl <laughs> <laughs> you been plucking his chicken today. Have you had fun? Yeah, it's a really fun time over here. Really, I like it. Yeah? Yeah. You come back? If I'm, I, if, if you ask me, if I still so there's can no, come. So <laughs> there's no chance of him ever coming back then. Why? You because I'm not going to ask him. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I will. You'll be back, Dad. Thanks very much. Yeah? You also. Okay. It's been good fun. I think that that's perfect for me. It covers my stomach and everything. It's all good. Oh, yeah. This is very good. Hello, my darling. Hello. And could you introduce yourself to the people back home? I'm Melissa from Adelaide, Australia. Okay. And you are also uh, a lady who's won a competition. Uh, yes, I won the Interflora... Australia competition, so yeah, it came first placed in March, so that was pretty exciting, and that's why I'm here. It's a really good thing that they do in Australia. I have to compliment Australia. I'm complimenting you, Australia, um, because they give you a bursary, don't they? Yes. And you can travel with that bursary. Yes, yep, I can do anything I choose. And when when you have come over to Europe and you've gained obviously a lot of experience and knowledge. Is part of the thing to go home and share that with other people. I uh, plan to, yes. Definitely. Good girl. Yes. Good girl. Yes. So, um, how have you felt about working with all these mad people? <laughs> <laughs> you can tell. You can tell me because nobody's watching yeah. this. <laughs> well, they're sending me a little bit mad too, but um, uh, yeah, no, it's been really good. It's been really good to network and um, meet these amazing designers that I'd never thought I'd even have a chance of ever meeting, let alone learning from them and sharing. Experiences or learning yeah. to dance, yeah, or <laughs> learning to sing. Can we just have a? I'm just gonna have a little break here, children. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, you know how you've learned a song since you've been here, yeah. yeah. Do you think we can sing the people back home a little welcome song from Floral Fundamentals? Absolutely. Come on, so if I go in three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I've 
had to put up with for three days. Actually, there was some influence, I think, from South Korea, was there not? Apparently. So. Yeah. Yes. And just a little bit from Sue and, and Min Suk, who were obviously <laughs> here too. Really great. What are you working on, darling? Um, I've made a little um, wrist wedding ah, bouquet. Ah, nice. Okay. Just like petite. Beautiful. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. And you've got, oh my, you've got some of the Santini in there. Mm -hmm. And, oh, eucalyptus. Well, that's definitely an Aussie yeah, girl. I love that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. It really, I bet that's really beautifully yeah. centered too. Thank you. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It sits really well. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Thank you. Well, I hope you've been glad to have been here. I hope you that's enjoyed the experience. experience. Yeah, yeah. pizza you tonight, so real yeah. Don't worry about it. Come round the bend. Here we go. You can see some of the material that's here as well. So here we come to our very quiet and shy quiet. and understated young lady from the Netherlands. You can introduce yourself, can't you? I can, person? I think so, yes. Well, my name is Hanneke Frankema, and uh, this is a, a, a home uh, competition for me. <laughs> I call it like that. So uh, I, I'm really happy to be here and to meet all of uh, my nice new friends and colleagues. And we've known each other for a long time on Facebook, but it's really nice to meet in person. And for me, it's a candy shop working here. We have so many nice flowers from the growers. and. It's really nice to have a chance to talk to all the growers, although I'm a little bit spoiled because I live in between the grow <laughs> growers, so I can see them sometimes, <laughs> often. But it's it's a really nice atmosphere, and I'm really happy to be here. So really? thank you. No, 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 we're really happy to have you here. I have to say, for the people back home who don't know Miss Hanukkah the way I do, um, I've been watching her career for several years now, and she's one of the amazing young floors, and definitely a florist of the future. Um, she's managed to develop her own style, which is quite unique and amazingly beautiful. And I have to say to the people of the Netherlands, you should be proud to have this young lady coming from your country. She is a standard bearer for your nation. So can we have a look at your work? Yes, please, of Dan? course, yes. So I really love making frames, frame bouquets and bridal work, like detail work. Uh, so I made a base made out of this uh, thick aluminium wire. Oh, I can show you quickly. It's this, this base, and I've used uh, the paper wire yeah. to cover it with a drilling machine. I won't show it now because it makes too much noise. Uh, so I made a structure with this to make a firm base, and I've used this material. It's also a natural material. There's iron in it, so you can bend it really easily. And I made a whole structure like a web out of this material and the flowers are put in the frame. So it's like a flat frame and the flowers are in here but really playful and really colourful. And this is something typical that I make, uh, lots of lots of colours, uh, very happy colours normally. And this is, is something I really love to make because you can reuse the frame every time. And if you fit it with different colors, the whole thing looks different. And I think that's also very interesting uh, to and work with. And this color palette that you're working with here is so right on trend. The new mega trend that we've been writing about. Actually, I have another life over and above floral fundamentals, as some of you know. But the new mega trend is th are these in between linking colors. Yeah, and yeah. This is absolutely nailed what this is all about. If you have a real good study of what Hanukkah's done here, this is what the mega trend is all about, and this is an expert interpretation of what it is. Well, that's good to hear. Yeah, well, <laughs> gee, well you know, you can have a go to, my grandmother used to say, you can go to the top of the class, which meant you were like the star of the class, but don't take your books, you won't be there long. So that was my grand bit of mm, going about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can stay up there at the back of the class as long as you want. Oh, I will. Okay, good experience here? Yes, very good. Positive and very great. Positive. You didn't have to travel as far as some no, people. No, no. <laughs> so for me it's easy. Yeah, it's easy. But it, if it was uh, in the other end of the world, I would come as well. So really? Yeah, of course. <laughs> so, other end of the world. Do you like Hanukkah if I'm visiting you? <laughs> I will come. I will come. <laughs> and she's good at it too. Thanks very much, Thank my darling. You. Thank you. Thank okay. you for having me. Oh, darling, anytime. You can come back anytime. Bye bye everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go. Here we are with that one. Right. Okay. This young lady will now tell you she has well, I would say almost dual nationality. 
Almost dual nationality, Almost a, yes. Introduce yourself, Rika. So, hello, I, I'm Rika, and I'm Hungarian, but I live in Ireland for the last 10 years. I have my own shop, and I live for the flyers, and I just love everything about the flyers. <laughs> <laughs> I love competitions, I love demonstrations, and obviously, I love the everyday work, but this is not good work, it's a challenge. And so you told me... Uh, when you uh, received your email, what happened when you opened the email and you read it? And I said, would you like to join us at Floral Continental? Are you prepared to tell people what mm, happened? If I start telling that, you know what's going to happen. Okay, happen. so she's not going to tell you what happened. <laughs> Wah! Anyway, none of that happened. Wah! No, none of that crying <laughs> thing happened at all. But tell me, was it as good? Did your dream come true? It actually did. It really did. Um, yeah, because I never thought it's going to happen. I never thought I'm going to be invited. And I opened her email, so I had to make a couple of phone calls middle of the night to tell a couple <laughs> of. <laughs> That's <laughs> good. <laughs> Waking <laughs> people up in the middle of the night just say, <laughs> "Get out of bed, quick! We're yeah, here, we've yeah. heard." So t tell me what you're working on here. Well, I just uh, finished this design, which is all greenery, because I think green is the new white and green is the new pink. Yeah. <laughs> um, just a very minimalistic design for corporate. I exposed the floral foam because it's very interesting and just um, a nice little thing with good lasting in it. Had you seen this thing? Are you see, this is new to me. This is a new floral foam, which is um, a perfect uh, base for cremations. Ah. It's it's totally table for cremation really um, wow mm -hmm. okay so funerals and this this is a so this goes into the really yeah wow what is, what is the thing called uh, we will not go there but it goes yeah. into the thing it goes you don't want to depress thing. everybody yeah. so you can but as you can see you can use it in many other forms wow. you can um you can use it exposed it's a new I think it's exciting. It's, a, it's, it's, a, it's very exciting. It's a new take on the traditional floral foam. Absolutely. And this is produced by Oasis Floral Products. I have to say, it's new to me when it came in. Everyone was talking about the black foam, and I thought they were all, you know, pulling my leg again. But they were serious. No, it's amazing. It is. It's I think good. It's really nice. Well, yeah. we've discovered yet more stuff here. Yeah. You have fun. I do have fun. That's good, and we like to have fun. Can I say hello to my Hungarian Oh, friends? say hello to Hungarian, absolutely. Yes. Sziasztok, szép napot kívánok mindenkinek, és szeretném, hogyha néznétek a Floral Fundamentál szoldalát és a videókat. Sziasztok! <laughs> <laughs> so, to be a part of Floral Fundamentals, you can download all of our digital magazines and our app. It's all completely free of charge. Everyone donates their time free of charge. The, f the growers donate their flowers and their plants free of charge. Go to www.floralfundamentals.com or download our app where it's going to be more a in a, a minute. <laughs> more a yes. interactive. That's the word. Thank you, God, for sending that. More interactive, and you'll be able to actually have. We're having changes in the magazine, so keep up with us. We're becoming more journalistic. There's stuff happening. Okay, here's my boy. Here's my boy. How many red cards have you had since you arrived here, darling? <laughs> I do not remember. I do not remember. I mm, don't know. That is past. <laughs> this is history. I am... What is your name? So I'm Cyril. Uh, I'm Cyril. I'm French, but I live in London since four years and a half now. And, um, and yeah, okay. I'm here. You are? You are here? And you're happy with that? I'm absolutely <laughs> beside myself with joy. I could say I'm orgasmic, but I won't say that. So anyway... Too much information? No, well, it's just too much information. So what what are you doing these days? You used to work with... Um, I used to work for a big company called My Queens in London, uh, doing uh, flowers for hotels and restaurants. And uh, so now I work for myself. I'm self-employed. So I do events, I do uh, flowers for fashion, I do everything, like we ever need flowers, I'm here. And I've noticed something about you that I feel I have to share. He's quite shy. It's really hard to get him to talk. 
because he's such a quiet, shy little individual. Um, I need wine to talk. He needs wine, and just the smell of wine <laughs> is actually enough to get him into a frenzy. Not yeah. Today. Not today. But no, you're not having wine today. Pad, pad de vin. Maybe. Un petit peu. <laughs> <laughs> okay, say something en to fr in French. Give it that whole honky gorgeousness voice, and say something in French to the French listeners today. Salut les Français, euh, j'espère qu'il y a des Français déjà qui regardent. Euh, bienvenue à Floral Fundamental. Floral Fundamental, ah oui? French. Euh, voilà, j'espère que vous avez apprécié cette petite visite. Et, euh, et, et surtout, suivez-nous sur Facebook et Instagram. Voilà. Merci beaucoup. Ok, so we're going for another walk. Oh, what are you doing? Hang on. <laughs> no, I think it's good, no? No, it's, it's beautiful. Ok, so is this instead of a bride's cake? What are you making, darling? Uh, it is okay. We should have been baking all afternoon. Well, uh, yeah, <laughs> you should have been baking all afternoon, yes. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there's just like circles of flowers, like different varieties. You've got like berries of Ibericum just here. So you've got chrysanthemum, uh, Alstroemeria, Aster, uh, Hydrangea. And do you know what is this seed? Give me a, no, I give up. It's a tulip bird. It's, pardon me? A tulip bird. So ah! What came after the petals, oh, so really? How beautiful are they? <laughs> exactly. They are gorgeous. And what's around the side? It's a uh, lunaria. Are we? Are we? Uh, I don't have any more here, but it's just like. I don't take it up. No, see. don't, because that would I be don't. a disaster. Exactly. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, back home, we sometimes call this honesty. So that. Um, honestly, when it's dried, you sort of peel the outer uh, leaves off, and inside is a translucent uh, casing, which is interesting. But this is beautiful because the colours are gorgeous. Merci. It's been really nice having you here. Thank I've you. had a lot of fun. Thank you very much. Even though I've been a bit crazy, but you, know. you have been a bit naughty. <laughs> never. But you're never boring. Maybe. <laughs> you don't know me. I, I know. I've <laughs> never met him before. Thank <laughs> God. But thank you. Come this way past our recycling plant and yet more of our gorgeous flowers um, from our amazing growers, yeah? And we're going round the corner, round the corner, oh, past um, our gorgeous Alcora partners um, who send us all this exciting gear to work with. Um, without them, we are nothing. So thank you, Alflora and the gorgeous Ron, who has got to be the chunkiest bear-like man in the whole of Holland. Not the tallest. No, not the tallest. We have had the tallest. So here we have it with a bit more ooh la la <laughs> <laughs> with our lovely Emily, who is the young lady who made, I said to Emily yesterday, what is it about small people, how they always tend to make the biggest arrangements, yeah? Yes. You were up step ladder yesterday, weren't I you? I love being up step. No, <laughs> She loves being upstairs. It's okay. Would you like to introduce yourself, darling? So, hi, my name is Emily. I live in South of France. I'm a floral designer, so I work mainly with weddings, um, generally from March to October. I also uh, I also teach for floral for florist, sorry, and a floral designer in France and abroad. Hmm. And uh, I love learning. Uh, I do as many workshops I can because I want to do myself and learn. Always more. Okay. And how did we first come across one another? Can you remember? <laughs> um, I sent you a picture for uh, Valentine's Day, a design created um, a shape, uh, heart shape right. uh, in a cardboard. Okay. Yes. And uh, you sent me a message. You told me, uh, Emily, this is confidential, but we really love what you do. And are you interesting to be a part of Floral Fundamental? And I say, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> and yes, of course. And I was very impatient, as you know. Yeah. <laughs> we had a lot of correspondence, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. Because you couldn't believe it was happening. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but one thing about Floral Fundamentals, we, we say we're a family. Mm -hmm. Have you felt that when you've been here? Yes. Here, it's like um, a summer camp uh, when we are. Uh, we are laughing, we are eating together, we are traveling, we visit the growers. You are a wonderful mama beer. <laughs> wow, wow. And uh, we had a lot of fun every day and uh, we take uh, Jacqueline and the team take a lot of care of us. And yes, it's wonderful. It's like a family. It's 
better than any family. <laughs> You are my family. I have no family, <laughs> yeah. and you guys are the family. I'm glad. And what are you working on? This is don't trip. Good girl. You yeah, didn't trip. Yeah. Good girl. Um, it's a kind of bridal bouquet, uh, something very uh, modern, uh, made with um, petal of roses. Maya roses, my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I know a girl who will be very happy. Yes. <laughs> uh, I also used uh, petals of gloriosa. From uh, Crown Jewel Gloriosa, ah, the best. Uh, yes. Where well, well, we met uh, during the tour Isn't with my uh, colleague Max yeah. <laughs> and Cyril, mm -hmm. and some petals of uh, Anko van Dijk. Beautiful. The small ones, yeah. uh, my favorite. So. Gorgeous. Yeah. I love it. I think that is really something very, very special. It's special. <laughs> yeah, it's very special. Your brides, are they open to new styles of design? Some brides. Yeah. Yes, yeah, some brides want something new, something uh, never seen before. So sometimes I can try to yeah. do that kind of that product. Kind of okay. yeah. So you, you find that maybe you have to design suitable designs for your brides. So you, you when you're doing a consultation, mm -hmm. you have to establish, are they open to doing new design styles? Yes. So as a florist, it's important to be able to do more than just that which they expect. Yes, because uh, sometimes brides know what they want, but sometimes they don't know. And that's the point when we are a floral designer to explain and to give ideas and to create something unique. Because yes. their wedding is unique. Yeah, and that's how you get your name known, apart from anything else. <laughs> but also quite often brides these days have uh, pictures from Instagram and, and Facebook. <laughs> and and I would like this, I would like that, and then they have no money. Mm -hmm. So you have to have the ability to adapt, yes? Yes, but I'm lucky because my brides have the budget for Okay, <laughs> my <laughs> brides have the budget, it's good. <laughs> we would all like those brides, <laughs> wouldn't we? Yeah, <laughs> lucky girl. Yes, I'm lucky. You know? <laughs> so, thank you very much. And I'm thank glad you, you sent your entry in for my competition, <laughs> yeah? yeah? Would you come back? If you want. Should be back. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Bye. And here we go. Hidden behind this bouquet. <laughs> Who are you, my darling? I'm Di. No, you're not. You are Di. Yes, that's yes. Di. I'm Di Morrison. I'm from Australia. And I have had the most amazing couple of days with this beautiful <laughs> woman. Um, I um, subscribed to Floral Fundamentals yep. when it was first launched. Yep. And as a surprise to all of the growers, I suspect, mm -hmm. my name got pulled out of a hat. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that entailed winning um, a trip over to come and visit Floral Fundamentals mm -hmm. and the growers mm -hmm. and experience all of the fun and frivolity and design work mm -hmm. that is just amazing. Mm -hmm. Nothing I thought I'd ever do. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been to Europe before? No. There you go. <laughs> so it just, you know, I've got this thing about uh, flowers link the world. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and we met through flowers. We did. Yeah. We did. We met in uh, Australia. Yep, we did. Uh, in sunny downtown Doomba. <laughs> <laughs> and we had to avoid things there. Yeah. We did. We did. There was the the naughty magpies who like to attack people, and poor Di and Mark and his team over there uh, kept telling me these magpies were naughty, and that you had to wear Tupperware ice cream tubs on your heads with when, eyes painted on with eyes painted on <laughs> to confuse the magpies not to hit their heads while they were cycling to school. <laughs> and there was no alcohol involved in that no. story at all, which is sad, really, isn't <laughs> it? So when you go home, do you feel you've learned stuff? Absolutely. Absolutely. You were even out in a photo shoot today. I was. Yeah. I got to make some lovely hand tights and um, then go and surprise people in the street um, with two gorgeous girls. Beautiful girls. Beautiful girls. Um, and they were approaching unsuspecting people in the street and just giving away gorgeous bouquets, which brought smiles to their faces, I must say. So yep. Two very was. shy girls, and all the models we use in Floral Fundamentals, they're not posh models. 
they're just beautiful people and these two girls are the daughters of two of our growers but then we've had the growers and angelica who's always there looking after us with food and wine she has been a model and you know if you just happen past us visiting quite often you become a model <laughs> actually the famous thing is can i see your hand and your arm because you're going to be holding a bouquet yeah yes i found that out this afternoon <laughs> yes I, i'm sorry about that <laughs> so thank you welcome to europe thank you i hope you've enjoyed yourself i have absolutely and tonight we're having pizza wow yay thank you now this lady i'm going to take you out here to see some of you will have met before. They call, oh, here you yeah, go. I need right to do that, that Did I need that boob no, thing happening? That was okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is an existing ambassador, and you, it's your anniversary, isn't it? Yeah, one year. One year ago, yeah. this young lady came here, and you were quite shy. Yeah. You were very nervous. Yeah. And you sat up here in this corner here. That's correct. And you were shaking like a leaf. Yeah. Is that true? And she's back, and this week, um, as part of uh, a project we were doing for international press with the Dutch Lily Days, yeah. Sarah Lisa was one of our demonstrators um, as an ambassador, and then she's back here to try and make everybody feel relaxed and comfortable because it's such a shy bunch. Yeah, yeah they are. Yeah. Really hard to handle. Absolutely. Yeah. So do you want to say hi to the people? Maybe in Swedish? Yes, I can do it in Swedish. I'll do it in Swedish. Hey, hey, det här är Sara Lisa och jag är i Holland och har ute på äventyr igen och tycker att det här är alldeles fantastiskt. Att vara en del av Flora Fundamentals gör att eh, man hjälper till att få den här härliga blomstervärlden att överleva. Tack! Jo, jo! Jo, jo! Jo, jo! jo. That's me speaking Scandinavian. <laughs> I was in Finland for quite a while and after several um, drinks, um, they spoke to me in Finnish and their words seemed like this size for an English word this size. So they decided there was only one word they could teach me. Yo. Yo. So you can have happy yo. Yo yo. Or yo yo. yo. Oh yo yo. yo. <laughs> so it's quite an impressive word, don't you think? Anyway, we understand each other. What I, we do. Yeah. <laughs> we always have actually. <laughs> Tell us more about what's happened to you in this year. What What are your plans for the future? Oh, my plans for the future is actually I will quit my job in two weeks. I have <laughs> been working as a floral uh, design teacher for I think almost 15 or 16 years and at this school like 14 years. And now it's time for change. So I will close the door to be able to open another one. Uh, and I will start traveling and uh, give more demonstrations and workshops and seminar and I will enjoy working with flowers because that is the best part of my life. Good girl. And all of this through www.floralfundamentals.com Beautiful design, kind of Nordic colors in a way I think. Yeah. Yeah. Gorgeousness. What did we call it? Naughty Nordic something? Uh, not. Naughty Nordic knots. <laughs> Naughty Nordic knots. Not everybody can say that. No. Well, look, guys, I hope you've had a good time. Um, I hope you've enjoyed meeting this. <laughs> 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 yeah. www.floralfundamentals.com that's all from us except love your flowers love what you do share it with the world show them how beautiful one flower can be and it can change someone's life god bless bye from everyone at fundamentals <laughs>